Long time no see, YouTube. Long time no see. You might be wondering, Scorpion Lynx, why are you back on this channel? Um, because I've been thinking about making some new videos lately. I just don't know really what direction I want it to go in. As you can see, I'm still quite the Lego connoisseur. I have a lot of Legos, but I'm not gonna lie. I've kind of lost the spirit in a way to make videos on Legos. You know what I mean? I've, for the past few years, just kind of been a more of a consumer, if you know what I mean, <laughs> than a reviewer like I used to be, or like a creator in a way. It's kind of sad, but I've been thinking, what if I did revive this channel a little bit and what direction should it be heading in? I'm just gonna kind of record some of this stuff as a little bit of a background, but I don't know if you see this, but uh, I may have gotten into something kind of separate from main Lego itself. So I just guess this is kind of a hint, a teaser, if you will. There's this company called Brick Mania, and um, I might have talked about it on this channel before, but they basically make like custom Lego kits, like military stuff like this and this and this and all this kind of stuff. And that's kind of where my interests have been going lately. So I, I had, let me think, I think the last legit Lego set I bought, in fact, I'll show you right here. It was this uh, cyberpunk looking Ninjago. It, it's kind of hidden back here, but this might be able to kind of give it away a little bit. I just bought it because Cyberpunk came out at the same time, you know, the video game. Also, I think this is a pretty dang cool minifig. But um, that was back in like December of 2020. It's been a long time since I bought like a real deal Lego set I'm thinking now here. But uh, last actual Lego purchase I've made was this one. Uh, or this isn't Lego, but I mean last build kit I made was that one. It's the, uh, in fact, I have them all right here. I keep all my boxes because these are expensive. Spirit of St. Louis. This is, um, this was about a $300 kit. I kid you not. If you are here from just the normal Lego community and you're like, what in the world? This Brick Mania stuff sounds expensive. Oh, it is. Trust me. It is. But there's kind of reason to it. First of all, they have to source all these parts and get new parts and put them in boxes and make instructions. So, like, I understand. I'll admit it's a little too much money. I think they could definitely work on the price, like, and make it more, you know, affordable. But someone like me, I have, like, a job, you know. So this is the kind of stuff I'm into these days. But, like, here's kind of, like, the old the relics of the past like that spider-man set was another one like recent recent acquire acquisition i suppose you could call it but um this is just kind of my lego collection right now not even all of it is built up right now either i i like moved a few years ago and a lot of my legos i had to kind of take apart because you know moving with legos built is kind of a nightmare so a lot of them are still disassembled, but the only reason is because those are the kind of sets that, like, I'm like, I don't even know if I want to build these because they're not even that good. So, it's kind of another topic I want to talk about. So, I was thinking about potentially starting a BrickLink store. It'd be like a Scorpion Links, kind of like, trying to sell my extra stuff. Stuff like that, because, like, I have bins like this. It says Legos. I know, isn't that cursed? I didn't write that. But, like, I have stuff like that, right? And then I have, like, sets that I don't really want anymore. Like, something like this. I would just kind of part this out and go, like, okay, used bricks. Like, I don't know if that's a brick you can sell, but, like, you could sell that Ray minifig. I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, oh, I hate Lego now. But I'm, I'm just kind of, like, um... What's the word? I'm trying to make space. <laughs> Let's just say that. I'm trying to make space. Like, this is kind of clutter. And if I add anything... Like, I do want to buy more Legos. That's the thing. Like, sure, like, they don't make as much good stuff to me that much these days. Like, there's a few cool things I'll buy here and there. 
like that Ninjago City dock set, I am going to buy that and put it right next to this. <laughs> I never showed you guys this, did I? But uh, I'm going to put that next to this, I think. I might get that. I don't know. It depends. It depends on where my uh, financial situation is in a few months. Because I'm actually going on a trip. That's another thing I want to talk about in the video. Where the channel's headed. So this channel has about 2,600 subscribers or something like that. Like, thank you guys. That's a lot. Although I'm well aware that I didn't get those subscribers through Lego content. But that's... That's okay, because I can kind of do whatever I want with this channel, can't I? <laughs> um, so that's kind of why I'm like asking the subscribers, what do you think I should do? Because I have I know this sounds like bizarre, but I was kind of thinking I want to make some videos about, because I'm going, I'm going to Ukraine, actually. I'm going to Ukraine in a few months, and I kind of want to do like a video about it. It's just, I have another channel. I have another channel called Darth Marley. And I was thinking I could use that, but what's, I'm just, I've been watching some of my old videos lately and it's like, I used to do everything on this channel, but the thing is, that's not what people want usually, right? Usually it's like, okay, you have channels for different topics. You have a channel for Lego, a gaming channel, and a personal crap kind of channel, which I think might be the Darth Marley channel. Scorpion Links will probably be Lego still. I don't know. That's a thing. I don't know what direction the channel's headed in. I think like a year ago or so, I uploaded like a gaming video on here. I don't know. It didn't get too much views, but whatever. I'm going to keep it up just kind of for historical value. But um, I don't know, guys. Should I review Brick Mania sets? I've been thinking about it. I've never seen a review this, or this, or that. well, maybe, someone might have reviewed that, I'm pretty sure, that's kind of popular, but like, I don't know, let's just, uh, let's see where things go, I'm gonna see how this video does, this is the first video I've made in a bit, I think, I'm not even sure how long it's been since I last made a video, but, um, I got some more stuff over here too, I don't even think I showed you guys this set, this is my roller coaster it's uh it's pretty cool i this was actually a high school graduation uh gift uh, more like i got a crap ton of money and i wanted to buy the roller coaster <laughs> and then uh here's where i keep a lot of my cmf minifigs this could be another thing i would potentially sell on bricklink because i don't really use i don't really need a lot of these like who wants clock man anyway <laughs> um ren x if you're watching i know you gave this to me <laughs> but um you know what i mean but here's some more stuff too i'll just kind of give you a little tour of what's going on here's um oh <laughs> here we have my favorite where is he the hitler minifigure that's uh now i'm demonetized <laughs> um this is a really cool, the Bob Simple Tank. I don't think anyone's reviewed that either. So there's a lot of stuff here that I have that I'm pretty sure I, I'm like the only YouTuber who has that set or the Bob Simple Tank or even the Scrapyard Stewart. I could talk a lot about that Scrapyard Stewart, trust me. It's kind of a piece of garbage. <laughs> like it falls apart all the time. So I don't know guys, should I make Brick Mania reviews? Should I just, do whatever I don't know this is uh this is just gonna go up on my channel today and I'm just gonna that's basically it this is the Lego update as of uh 2021 I will see you guys hopefully in a future video I'm not sure what platform on as like I said I have two other channels the gaming channel that's like absolutely dead and then the Darth Marley channel, which is something I actually do put content on. But it's not exactly like personal content, which is what I was trying to do that channel with. Like the Darth Marley channel has basically become like flag and anthem crap. I, I don't really know what, uh, what that's all about. But you know what I mean. 
Uh, but anyway, guys, I'll hopefully see you soon. And who knows, maybe I will make Brick Mania stuff. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.